Top 10 Most Mysterious Discoveries Made in Egypt Mystery Heads In 1894, the French archaeologist Jacques de Morgan made a perplexing discovery in the royal necropolis of Dasher. In a tomb dating around the reign of Snefru, beginning 2613 BC, during Egypt's fourth dynasty, he found an odd sculpture of a human head. This object, known as a reserve head, has puzzled and inspired scholars for over a century. In total, 31 reserve heads have been discovered. Of these, 27 were found in tombs at the Royal Necropolis of Giza, 15 miles southwest of Cairo. The sculpted heads, found in tombs of aristocrats and members of the royal family, including Princess Maritites III, share many common features. Sculpted during the Old Kingdom, 2613 to 2181 BC, the heads are often made of limestone, with the bottom of the neck working as a sort of base to allow the object to stand. The features are soft and at times personalized, perhaps to resemble the deceased inhabitant, and the hair is always shaved or cropped close. There is evidence that at least some of the heads were painted. The remnants of plant-based red paint on one head has led to the hypothesis that it was for some reason painted entirely in a bold red. Complicating everything is the fact that a number of the heads seem to have been intentionally mutilated. According to Catherine H. Rorick, Egyptologist and curator at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, the most common disfigurement disfigurements include the removal or destruction of the statue's ears. Many heads also feature scratches or gouges tracing from the top of the head down to the nape of the neck. The Giza Void Even ancient landmarks can still surprise us. In 2017, experts were examining the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. This pyramid, built over 4,500 years ago for Pharaoh Khufu, is the largest among the three pyramids at Giza. And it is one of the wonders of the ancient world, and a dazzling feat of architectural genius, contains a hidden void at least a hundred feet long. The space's dimensions resemble those of the pyramid's grand gallery, the 153-foot-long, 26-foot-tall corridor that leads to the burial chamber of Khufu, the pharaoh for whom the pyramid was built. However, it remains unclear what lies within the space, what purpose it served, or if it's one or multiple spaces. The void is the first large inner structure discovered within the 4,500-year-old pyramid since the 1800s, a find made possible by recent advances in high-energy particle physics. The seemingly empty region, which the researchers neutrally call the void, is at least a hundred feet long. Its purpose remains unclear, researchers are cautiously avoiding the word chamber for the time being. We don't know for the moment if it's horizontal or inclined, or, if it is made from one structure or several successive structures. Experts have yet to determine the exact, the exact nature of this void. Plans are underway to send robots equipped with cameras inside for exploration, but these robots are still under development. Black Boxes Just 12 miles from the Great Pyramid of Giza, within a cave network near Memphis, Egypt, Archaeologists made a puzzling discovery, 24 large black boxes. Each box weighs 100 tons and was so unusual that some speculated they might be alien artifacts. However, these caves are actually part of an ancient sacred temple complex known as the Serapium of Saqqara, built over 3,000 years ago during the reign of Pharaoh Ramesses II. So how did the ancient Egyptians build and put in place the 24 strange and sinister coffin-shaped black boxes discovered buried in a hillside cave system? 12 miles south of the Great Pyramid of Giza. And more importantly, why? The skillfulness of the stone cutting, accurate to just a few microns, is so remarkable that some experts have concluded that they were not built for Egyptian pharaohs but in fact left on earth by an alien race and simply appropriated by the kings. They are known as the Serapium of Saqqara in the now abandoned city of Memphis, Egypt. In Egyptology a Serapium is a temple or other religious institution dedicated to the syncretic Greco-Egyptian deity Serapis, who combined aspects of Osiris and Apis in a humanized form. Serapis was recognized across the Mediterranean region and emerges in both Greek and Nosaic religions, usually in the guise of a man with a three-headed dog on a chain. Recent research suggests it was a burial place of Apis bulls, which were worshipped as incarnations of the god Ta. Kites in the Egyptian Desert for about a hundred years, people flying over the Egyptian desert noticed strange lines. These turned out to be small stone walls arranged in a kite-shaped pattern, some stretching up to 40 miles long. What made them even more mysterious was that they led to a pit in the sand. P. 
People had lots of ideas about what these lines could be, some thought they might be made by aliens or used by ancient Egyptians to signal to the sky. But after studying 16 of these structures in the Sinai Desert, experts from Benguian University in Israel figured out the real reason behind them. These 2,000-year-old walls were actually used for hunting. They helped guide animals like gazelles and ibexes towards the pit where they would be caught. It's a grim reminder of how efficient ancient hunting methods could be. King Tut's Mummy King Tut, or King Tutankhamun, is one of Egypt's most famous kings, yet his death remains a mystery. King Tut was among the youngest rulers of ancient Egypt, as it is believed that he became king at 19 years old. Unlike other ancient Egyptian mysteries on this list, archaeologists and historians were able to locate and reveal the mummified corpse of the king resting in a three-layered coffin made of gold. It is not known how he died precisely, leaving historians speculating in what the initial cause of death was. The in-depth analysis of the mummy revealed that the skeleton had a fractured skull and broken knee. The mystery remains whether the king was a victim of a violent death or if the damage was caused by rough mishandling or even suicide. Lost Labyrinth Near Fium in Middle Egypt, Fium Oasis holds the remains of the Lost Labyrinth, a massive temple-like structure with 3,000 chambers, half above ground and half below, below. According to the Twelve Kings, its exact location remains a mystery despite discoveries suggesting a labyrinthine network below a stone plateau. Unfinished Obelisk One of the most sizable ancient mysteries, the unfinished obelisk is a mass granite that measures 138 feet long and weighs more than 1,090 tons. Located in Aswan, 538 miles from Giza, and its many mysteries, the unfinished obelisk is a massive piece of stone abandoned during its construction. The reason for its abandonment and the tools used in its creation are still debated. Due to its unusual location, many theories suggest the obelisk was moved by boat from Giza through the Nile River, with no further explanation on how it was moved or why. Valley of the Golden Mummies The discovery of the Bahariya Oasis in the 1990s, where hundreds of mummies were adorned with gilded masks, remains a mysterious burial site. Before this discovery, never was a mass tomb with this number of mummies found, as archaeologists found more than 250 perfectly preserved mummies divided into five different group tombs based on socioeconomic factors. The mummies date back to the Greco-Roman period and had a Greek hairstyle, leading archaeologists to question the origins and civilizations to which these mummies belonged. Lost Tomb of Cleopatra and Mark Antony Mark Anthony and Cleopatra were partners for over 11 years with three children named Alexander Helios, Cleopatra II Selene, and Ptolemy Philadelphus. Cleopatra is believed to have killed herself by allowing a venomous cobra to bite her, while the theory around Mark and Anthony's death is that he stabbed himself with his sword after the Octavian forces reached Alexandria, believing that his partner was already dead. Octavian, the Roman leader who defeated them, allowed their burial together after their defeat, according to historians Suetonius and Plutarch. Dendera Light The Dendera Light is a mysterious inscription carved into a stone wall that indicates that ancient Egyptians may have discovered some form of electricity. It is located in the Haroth Temple in the town of Dendera, which sits along the Nile River 362 miles from the infamous city of Giza. There is a multitude of opinions on what the depiction means. While some claim it is an undiscovered technology, others dismiss the hypothesis as a misinterpreted reading of a religious ceremony due to the lack of supporting artifacts and documentation. Another hypothesis of the inscription of the Dendera light, according to Egyptologists, is the depiction of the Son of God. While researchers may need help understanding the meaning of the Dendera light, the engraving attracts thousands of history buffs annually and is leveraged as one of the town's main attractions.